So how did CurePod start? Well, uh, I usually say that myself, I was born with a Hermione reflex. And for those of you who don't know what that is, that means that if a teacher asks a question, my hand goes like this. Uh, I really loved school. I had a great time. I loved every subject and I, and I got to explore so many different ways of being curious. And after school, I went to Mozambique and worked as a teacher there. And I went back to Norway and I started studying economics. And my first year in university there, I met this guy called Jens. Spoiler alert, he is the COO of Curapod and one of my co-founders. Um, and my first impression of Jens was that he was the smartest guy I have ever met. So I started working a lot with Jens, uh, naturally, because I thought that was a great way of getting ahead. Uh, and after working really closely with Jens on a lot of assignments and projects for three years, I learned that he had originally dropped out of high school. Uh, and I got very curious because why, uh, why would he drop out of high school when he was so smart? And I never actually thought about why anyone dropped out of high school. So he started talking a lot and figured out we both had a lot of strong opportunities about education. Uh, and we really wanted to go that direction. And the goal of Curipod from the beginning has always been that students learn through being curious. So what we need is to make it really easy to be curious in the classroom. And there are so many things making it hard. Social blockers of participation. I've reflected a lot upon how I affected my classroom environment. Every time I raised my hand like that, I made it so much harder for, for other students to join in. And teachers, they have way too much to do already. So we were figuring, let's use technology uh, to take away some tasks and not to create new ones. So while we are making it easier to engage, let's also make it easier to actually use Curable. Because at the end of the day, we really believe the students learn most when they are together in a group in the classroom and talking. Um, so we created Curipod, and we've been working on that from Norway for four years now. Uh, Curipod comes from curiosity, which we really, really believe in. Um, in the next uh, page here, I will uh, show you our learning principles. And that is how we design all our activities, is trying to follow these learning principles. Um, 